priciest ten cities. Number one is New York City. Three hundred twelve thousand dollars a year is the equivalent of a hundred thousand dollars. Holy shit! So Hawaii what? is also three twelve. Do you have this or no? If you can show the stats, Hawaii is three twelve. San Francisco yes. is uh, uh, three eleven. Then it's Oakland. Why would you what? That's insane. Oakland. Oakland. LA what? 245. Rob, what are you doing to us here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oakland is right. Rob, Oakland did you smoke weed and get lethargy? <laughs> Oakland 246. LA 245. Long Beach, DC, San Diego, Boston, Seattle. Interesting. Okay, go to the other side, which is what? The 10 cheapest cities. The 10 cheapest cities is. I, okay, there you go. Number one, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow. wow. El Paso 2, Oklahoma City, Corpus Christi. Lubbock, Texas. Shout out to uh, Daniel. Uh, uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, 125. That's pretty wild to be thinking. Look how many Texas is in there. Ty, Texas, Ty, Texas, 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 Texas. One, two, three. If you're a leaders, Bolton guy, seven out of ten is Texas. They're dominating. Okay, uh. that's pretty wild. So, in other words, if you want to feel rich, move to Texas. <laughs> right? Yeah, you're right. If you want to, so do do not go to California. Uh, Texas is dominant. By the way, there's no Florida on I either. Mean, no. Nope. Oh, not not Miami. I no. thought Miami would have been on the, the what do you call Expensive. it? Expensive. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah, because people don't make a hundred grand in Miami. So yeah. if, if we're gonna go based on this, we're opening up a studio in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. And we're gonna let's we're go. gonna go to Memphis and buy Tamin. I'm ride or die, so let's go. You're getting content from that place. By the way, I'm surprised Houston's on this list. Me too. Because Houston's got twenty, thirty million dollar homes. You got oil. It's now the th third largest city in America. Just passed up Chicago. Oh really? Really? Yeah. Houston. Oh, you, Houston's blowing Houston up. Houston passed up Chicago. Bigger than Dallas. What are you? Are, are you joking? joking? Shit, I mean, are you coming Adam, at me? Huh? Did you? What did you have for breakfast? He smoked and he's lethargy. He's lethargy. <laughs> he's lethargy. <laughs> Houston is bigger than Dallas. I tell, when, when please you, tell me you're joking. I mean, when you think of Texas, you think of Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Nobody thinks of the Houston. Can you, can you type in top ten largest cities in America population? All right, this is this is pretty interesting. Population. Oh, you mean what? You thinking? I don't even. He's he's lethargy. <laughs> he's there again. Chicago. This is what year? Houston just passed up Chicago. Largest. Wow. Yeah, Houston's, Houston's what? Four? There, go go wow. Dallas population. Go Dallas population. So Houston's 2,300,000. Uh, Dallas, low key. Yeah. It's just low. I don't man. think anybody would think that Houston is that big. I, I'm not going to When you think of think major Houston. cities, you do not think of Houston. Well, Houston has double. Damn. I didn't know that. What? Yep. 2.288. Is you're telling me when you think of major U.S. cities, Houston is on your list? I I, I wouldn't have thought that. Maybe if you're a Hakeem yeah. Olajuwon fan, but yeah. no. Uh, sorry. Wait, you wouldn't want to live in Houston? That's, so that's not a, what I said. It's a little wild. No, well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't want to live in Houston. I'm I've good in there. Miami. I'm good. Pat, what do you think the poll was for you smoking weed? I haven't. I, I totally forgot 70? about it. 70? <laughs> Where were yeah, we at? Totally forgot about it, Where man. That's yeah, lethargy. you're lethargy. 60. Oh, it dropped? I told you. 60. People want to see I, it. What did I the say, by the way? You said 60. I said 65. You know your audience. So but I, 61, well, Wait till 39. the end of the podcast to see right. how it looks out. You see know? what happens. But that means there. yes. Yeah, I can't believe some late bloomers out there. 61, no. yes. 35, no. I got still have 61, 39, no. I know you said that you're going to do whatever the audience decides. Yeah, you said You said You want to smoke. You can smoke it. but What do you mean, you people? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, you people? Oh, for man. 400 years. Get, get cheese. Get cheese, Pat. <laughs> Sage is hilarious. Oh, man. So, where are you at with these cities, by the way? When well, you see stuff like this. The cities. No, if, if I'm right now, if I am somebody that is not in the best of place financially and I'm thinking about having a family and raising a family, mm -hmm. if, if, if I'm doing okay financially, I'm moving to Florida. Okay, I'm moving to Tennessee. You know, if I'm not doing well financially and I can't afford private school and I'm thinking next 10, 20 years where I'd like to go, pick a city in Texas. It's a great place to go to. Uh, Dallas is a great place. Plano, if you can live in Plano, phenomenal city. Dallas got a lot of great places to be living in. Houston's got a lot of great places to be living in. We got a couple of our guys that moved to Houston. Uh, uh, Austin is very different. Austin is not Texas. A lot of people think Austin is Texas until they go to Austin and then they realize yeah. Austin is more San Francisco. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Austin? Like a lot like of San people, Francisco. Austin is not Texas. Lot, uh, Austin is weird. Like, Some may wait, say that they want to keep yeah, it un, weird. Unpack that, like, because I've been I've been to all these cities to do comedy shows. But what what's the difference between Austin compared to like a Dallas or like a Houston? Austin, it? it's more yeah. hipster. 
Oh, Austin. oh God, really? You don't know how how I liberal? Know that. I've never been to Austin. I've been to every what? other place. Oh, so, so here's God. what we're gonna do. We're go gonna ahead. go to we'll go to Joe's new club. Okay. We'll go visit him. I okay. want to give him a gift. Okay. We'll go to his new club. Okay. And we'll also go around Austin. Please see what it's like. Okay. Yeah. Austin is, not, is, is, I, is it's crazy because I live I swear to God I've never been to yeah, Austin. Austin. I've been is everywhere. Very else. Different. Let me Austin tell you. But different. do you like? Is it like towards a positive or towards a negative? Because you say San Francisco, I don't want to even be there. What do I like about Austin? Yeah. Um, I mean, would I live there? Is if if what you're asking? Well, well, you're saying how do you compare it to San Francisco? It is Texas's version of San Francisco. That's what it is. Yeah. The best way to put it. liberal, like yeah. oh, you know, really. You know, it's it's. By the way, Austin is also the Silicon Valley of of yes. Texas as well. So it's sil silicon. Silicon, <laughs> yeah. not silicon, not, not lethargy, silicon. lethargy. Yeah. <laughs> Silic that's one of my words that they correct me so, up. So, silicon Valley. So, so if it's so liberal and so like that, why would somebody like Joe Rogan go there? Which is, I think that's wrong. Because it's not California. Well, obviously nothing. Yeah. I, I mean, but he Be because it's California without the policies. Got it. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it. California without the policy. Got you. Okay, he, I want to go. By the way, he moved to the right place for him. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And his comedy club? Yeah. The mother show. I said, I said, Joe, how's the comedy club? Eight months sold out. I mean, you can't get tickets. It's, it's crazy because he'll yeah. add a show and then it'll be sold Seconds. out without yeah, minutes. Seconds. What? Yeah, this is, you're talking about you know he, what he's done to comedy. This is like mm -hmm. you know like where's the place basketball players wanted to go play in New York? Rucker, what, uh, uh, Rucker Park. Rucker Park. Rucker Park yeah. Right. Like this is the Rucker Park of comedy. Wow. It's crazy. Last night they posted a photo of a drop-in comedian. Guess who the drop-in comedian was? <laughs> Bill Burr. <laughs> <What>? Bill Burr <laughs> just drops in and does a spot. Oh my god. By the way, that's kind of like in New York saying, guys, there's going to be a player showing up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant shows up. Shows it's kind of like, hey, come and play with Kevin Durant. Well, that's so. what happens at the comedy cellar in New York. York, you know that. Pat, I want to go to Austin, please. Yeah. I'm in. By the way, Pat, you got to play a game when you're in Austin. Okay. It's called Homeless or Hipster. Oh, God. <laughs> you just got to guess. Guess who's who? Is that guy homeless or hipster? I was uh, three for ten. Holy I just shit. couldn't figure it out. Who's who? I'm like, that guy is definitely well, homeless. Well, He's like, I own a tech company. But wait, when you played this game, were you smoking and were you lothar? No, Whatever no, 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 word no, is that? No. Okay, I, let's, let's try to hit two more stories. But by okay. the way, d d what, what would be good... Is these stories this why people are fleeing blue cities for red states? This is kind of basically proving your point. You want to go to that? Well, it's just essentially it's doubling oh, down. And by the way, it's New York Times, which you know this is once where New York Times is oh. and the Daily Mail. All right, let's go to New York Times and let's see what they got to say. Here we go. Why people are fleeing blue cities for red states? Okay. Uh, fastest growing states in the U.S. between 2010 and 2020 were mostly red states like Texas, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, South Carolina. The trend accelerated during the pandemic, and most of the population gaining states are governed by Republicans. These states are more pro-business and have lower taxes and fewer restrictions on home construction, resulting in lower housing prices and more job opportunities. The growth in these states is mostly in their metro areas, which are often blue cities. In uh, red states, Republican policies provide the general business climate, but Democrats at the local level influence the school, social services, and civic atmosphere that attract highly educated workers. A red-blue uh, uh, mashup seems to work with the conservative states' authorities at odds with the more liberal city authorities over things like minimum wage laws and LGBTQ rights. Okay, so they're kind of trying to suggest and say, hey, guys, like we understand you, you guys are kicking our asses. But what would be better is if you guys are willing to work with us a little bit. That's kind of how I read this article. Mm -hmm. But it's no, is anyone surprised who's moving to red states? No. Is this like a story where you're sitting there being flabbergasted saying, oh, wow, shocking. No. People like lower taxes. People like lower regulation. People like it when... The government stays out of the, you know, stays out of the business of how you want to parent and raise your kids. These are all like you went back to. You said something. You said I want to go back to what you said the America, uh, uh, not America first policy. You were talking about what America was founded on the policies that were, you know. Yeah, the values that my parents escaped the Soviet Union to, you know, to be a part of to raise me and that I wish to God will exist when I have kids one day, you know. Yeah. Uh. uh yeah, I mean, hurry up because it's like, right. oh my God, God what, what these guys are up to now. These crazy things are happening. Okay, so are you good with that story? Did you have a comment or did you just want to? Well, I, I, there's a, I, I love the quote by Nassim Nicholas Talib. you know, Nassim Talib. He says, uh, I am uh, at the federal level, level libertarian. 
right? At the state level, Republican, essentially this. Right. At the local level, Democrat, caring about your community, I guess. And at friends and family level, a socialist. So there's there, there there's minutia in all this. If saying that doesn't convince you of the the fatestness of the left and the right labels, nothing will. So the, it kind of just different strokes for different folks. But to prove to that point, uh, get out of my way. Let me just do my thing as a libertarian from the federal government. The state government, obviously, if they're pro-business, people are moving to these states. But in your family, you know, maybe you can be a little bit more left-leaning and give stuff away. Yeah. Very close family. You yeah. touched me. Did you? Yeah. Were you signaling? That was a signal. Family. Yeah. Family. Yeah. I'm, I'm, family. I think he this makes is, sense. This is the first time we've had two Jews and two Assyrians on our podcast. Yep. <laughs> I feel like Mishbucha here. I feel like family. Yeah. We're having a great time. I love it. Yeah. And a proud boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.